great God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, I can say I'm a little nervous today. <laughs> All right. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee, and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God on high. And on earth peace, good will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only God's Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, the Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takes us away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. God that takes us away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sits at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only art Christ with the Holy Ghost, our most high and glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good doth come, grant that by the, thy inspiration we may think those things that are right, and by thy merciful guiding may perform the same. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord, 
Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. The crowd came together again so that Jesus and his disciples could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, He has gone out of his mind. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, He has Beelzebul. And by the ruler of the demons, he cast out demons. And he called to them and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but his end has come. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first tying up the strong man, then indeed, indeed the house can then be plundered. Truly I tell you, people will be forgiven for their sins, and whatever blasphemies they utter, but whoever blasphemies against the Holy Spirit can never have forgiveness. But it is guilty of an eternal sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. Then his mother and his brothers came, and standing outside, they sent for him and called him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside asking for you. And he replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother, my sister, and my mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Christ. who is the Father, in the name of God, who is the Son, and in the name of God, who is the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Please be seated. <coughs> Did you get 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, we'll leave it in. <laughs> Later today, we are going to baptize a young child into the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Gives me great joy because this is also my grandchild. And with this baptism, we also renew our own baptismal vows. Now, a few months ago, I gave you a memory so that you can remember the last time you renewed your baptismal vows. Do any of you remember this? For those of you that were not here on Sunday, I asked for a show of hands for the folks that can remember their own baptism. A few hands shot up. They weren't cradle Episcopalians. I was one of them. But many in the congregation were baptized as infants and were placed under the charge of their parents and their godparents, along with the rest of the church community, to make sure that they were raised up in accordance to the scriptures within the body of Jesus Christ. <laughs> If any of you are like me and cannot remember being an infant, there's no surprise. That memory of infant baptism is locked away in that primal core of the brain. So on occasions, we renew our own covenant, such as at the time of baptism. And some of the questions go like this. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? Will you serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? Will you continue in the apostles' teachings and fellowship in the breaking of bread and in prayers? Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity in every human being? And then this one. Listen carefully. Will you persevere in resisting all evil? And when you fall into sin, repent and turn to the Lord. And our answer is, yes, I, I will, will with God's help. Remember that one, there's a quiz at the end. <laughs> so I shared with you my memory of my own baptism where I left a little Baptist church in Georgia. We walked down to the river singing songs of joy and praise. Pastor Gewin tried to drown me. <laughs> and when it was my little sister's turn to be immersed in holy water, a dead catfish came up to the surface with her. Do you remember the story? Mm. Those of you that were here? Yeah. And do you remember me telling you that as a big sister, it is my job to always, always, always remind her <laughs> that she is so mean that she killed a catfish during her baptism? Do you also remember that I told you it was my job as your priest now, and it is your job as members of the body of Christ, to remind each other and to hold each other to our baptismal vows. Why are we being asked, as a part of a renewal of our baptismal covenant, to persevere in resisting evil? Isn't evil just a bad behavior? We've all heard the saying, the devil made me do it. Once or twice, have I said it? Oh yeah. I mean, I thought, I thought sin was just bad behavior, right? But what is evil? Evil is not this little red creature with a pointed tail, hooves on his feet and horns on his head. Evil is real. And it has many names. Legion, Beelzebul, Satan, Lucifer. You've heard them. We know them. Jesus speaks as evil in the at, speaks of evil in the Gospels. And do you know that he said that he was there when he saw Satan fall from the skies like a meteor? 
He does not speak of just our behavior. He names him in the parable of the divided kingdom. And often, as the scribes in today's gospel, we are too quick to point out the evil that we see around us, and yet only sometimes we are brave enough to call out our own transgressions and to repent. Any person can see the evidence of evil in this world, but it's only through the eyes of faith that can we see the signs of redemption. Redemption, the only true hope and that is only found in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Our psalm for today, 130, is unparalleled in its ability to extend hope to all sinners, to all that have fallen. This includes our addicts. Those include those suffering from mental illness, those that have lost their jobs, those whose marriages have failed, and those that have been lost in the pit of despair. This rings through in that verse, Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. But then how about that grand finale? O Israel, hope in the Lord, for it is the Lord is steadfast love, and with him is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem his people from all iniquities. So today I ask you, will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will with God's help. Oh, come on. I will with God's help. Thank you. We seek to serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself. I will with God's help. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship and the breaking of bread and in the prayers? I will with God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will with God's help. And listen carefully. Will you persevere in resisting evil? And when you fall in sin, repent and return to the Lord. I will with God's help. Remember, all of our help is in the Lord. And it is within Him that we will find eternal life. Amen. Amen. Amen.
We believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Ye who do truly and earnestly repent of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in His holy ways. Draw near with faith and make your humble confession to Almighty God, devoutly kneeling. Almighty God. 
has promised forgiveness of sins of all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him. Have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all of your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be always with you. Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. Creator of light and source of life, which has made us in thine image and called us to new life in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with the company of heaven, we loud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, 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 Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who thou, through thy tender mercy, is give thy only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption who made there, by his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute in his holy gospel, command us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death and sacrifice until coming again. For on the night when she was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in the remembrance of me. He took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is the blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it, in remembrance of me.
Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here thy divine majesty with all these holy gifts which we now offer unto thee, the memorial of thy Son commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks through the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, to hear us of thy great mighty and thy almighty goodness, vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of this most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, through the faith in his blood, and we, and all thy whole church, may obtain remission of our sins and other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls, and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our own manifold sins, to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, be all honor and glory unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Thank you. 
always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to be the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him, and in he in us. Let us pray. Thanks be to God. God.